Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing my highly requested perfume favorites and we're in a different location. We're actually in my bedroom because I was just filming the whole collection. So first I'm gonna share with you my whole entire collection and then we're gonna jump into my top five favorite. First I was gonna do my top 10, but I really wanted to narrow it down to like my go-tos, like the ones that I wear when I wanna feel my best. In this video, I'm also gifting a perfume. So I'm doing a perfume giveaway and it is the YSL brand new Libre perfume, which you guys are so excited for. I was lucky enough to attend the event for this perfume and they gave us a goodie bag. I already have it and instead of keeping it as like a backup, I figured I would give it away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end to find out how to enter to win that perfume. I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's go ahead and jump right into the collection portion of the video. So we're going to go ahead and get started with my first tray and this holds my most used perfumes. I know it's a lot, but I try to keep them organized. So I'm going to give you like a quick description of each scent and like why I love it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start from the back. So this is actually the Black Opium Intense version, so that's why the color is a little bit different. And to me, it's pretty much just like the regular Black Opium. I would say maybe just a little bit less sweet, maybe a little bit more on the powdery side. Usually, I don't like powdery scents, but this one's nice if you like a sweet scent. The Original or the Intense, I love just Black Opium in general. I use their body oil. So if you tried the Original and you kind of want something like that, but just longer lasting, then I would go for this one. So it's Black Opium Intense. And then next to it, I have another class classic that I've used for so long that you guys have heard me talk about for so long. So this is Lancome La Vie as Belle and this is again a very sweet, sweet scent. I find this one sweeter than Black Opium Intense. So this is one I want to feel extra girly and delicious in a way. It almost has like an edible scent to it. So very, 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 very sweet. I only wear like a little bit of this because it is intense for my nose, but I do love it. It's a classic and I'll always have it in my collection. And then we have one of my most used fragrances. I'm actually almost out of this one. This is MAC Candy Yum Yum. And I fell in love with this the minute that I smelled it. I've gone through three bottles. It's like the perfect girl everyday scent. I like that it's inexpensive like compared to my other perfumes so I don't feel as bad wearing this like all over and spraying a lot of it. I feel like this is one of the longest lasting perfumes so Matte Candy Yum Yum if you haven't tried this definitely try it. I reach for this one a lot. Next to it I have Dolce by Dolce and & Cabana and this I do like. I don't love it as much as I used to. If you've watched any of my older perfume videos this was always like in my top five but that's how crazy like fragrance is for me. It changes all the time so I used to love the scent, but right now I find it a little bit too mature. It's sweet and floral, but it's just a little bit on the mature side. I don't know what it is. Something is off for it. So I still use it and I still like kind of spray it on my sheets and I spray it around, but you can tell that I have like a full bottle and it's just kind of sitting back here, but I do like it. I mean, I just don't wear it as often as I used to. And then next to it, I have this big boy. This is Balenciaga Flora Botanica. I hauled this in my last Sephora VIP haul and I am obsessed with this fragrance. It just smells so sexy to me. It's so unique and this is definitely more of a nighttime scent. This is definitely more of like a fall winter scent. I find it very crisp, sexy. Nothing smells like this. Honestly, I really can't compare this to any other scent that I own. So that is why I love it. I like smelling unique. I like smelling different. I mean, the bottle is also gorgeous. Lasts really long on the skin and on the clothes and I always get compliments on it. So I actually ended up getting this big bottle because I was going through the small ones way too often so this bad boy gets a lot of use from me and then let's go this way I have here Killian good girl gone bad this will forever remind me of last summer because I wore this non-stop then and I still have quite a lot of it. This scent is also very sweet. It is probably my girliest perfume. This is more of like a candy sweet. So Lancome La Vie Belle and like YSL Black Opium, those are sweet but they're more of that soft sweet. They're like that gourmand sweet where Killian Good Girl Gone Bad is definitely more of like a candy sweet and I really really like that. I feel like every summer I'm gonna wear that scent. Next to it we have Le Labo Santal 33. I have to say I don't use this as much as I did when I first got it. This is extra extra spicy, woodsy, unisex. If you guys like like smoky scents then you're gonna love this. I got this a while ago now that I'm looking at it and I haven't used much of it because it is intense. This is a lot. I have to be in the mood for a Santal. Like I don't just throw that on. Same goes with this one. This is Creed Royal Princess Oud. Another very very intense 
very intense scent. This smells so rich. It smells like a hotel lobby. I know that sounds crazy, but it just smells like Dubai. It smells like the passageways and the hallways and like the, I don't know, just like the malls of Dubai. It definitely has that oud. So I think that's why it reminds me so much of Dubai. I swear I've smelled this in a hotel and I love mixing this with something. So this I like to spray. I know this sounds weird, but like in my lower body because throughout the day, it just like projects up and I smell it throughout the day. So I only do like one or two sprays of this but in front of it has to be one of my favorite perfumes ever ever so this is creed silver mountain water it's blown out because of the lighting it's a white bottle i'm sorry that you can't really see it but it's the white creed with a silver top silver mountain water and this is one of my most used fragrances guys this is what i want to smell like forever and ever if i want to be known for a scent it's this one it's unisex it's crisp it's clean this is one of my cleanest scents and it just puts me in such a great mood i don't know what it is but when I purchased it, it was like my, I think it was my first Creed. Yeah, it was my first Creed fragrance and I just will always forever remember that summer and I just, I love it. So I went through a whole bottle of this and this is my second one. I got the big jumbo one because, I mean, I use it pretty much every day. So when I'm going out, if I'll wear any of these, sometimes I'll even just spray a little bit of this on top for good luck. I feel like this is my good luck charm. That's that, Silver Mountain Water. And then in front, we have two Juliet Has a Gun perfumes. We have Not a Perfume and Moscow Mule. Not a Perfume is perfect for those who have sensitive noses, who are allergic to fragrances, who don't like perfume, who just want to smell good but don't want to smell too intense this is like the perfect scent for those people this is a very clean but soft and subdued scent it smells like skin it smells just like classic the spritz like the nozzle on these are amazing and then this one's newer Juliet has a gun Moscow mule and I kind of like mixing these two. Oh my god they both smell really good this definitely smells a little bit like spicier but still clean I mean obviously it was inspired by a Moscow mule but I really love these two again if you are more sensitive to fragrances if you have really bad allergies you work in an office setting you work somewhere where you can't really wear perfume or you don't want to like you know have like an obnoxious perfume on Juliet has a gun is for you so these two are actually Angie's. She has Stella by Stella McCartney and Montal Rose's Musk here. So when she's here and we're going out, she, you know, has her perfumes here. So they remind me of her because these are like her scents. Stella by Stella McCartney, I have to say, I really love. If you like Alien, you would really like Stella by Stella McCartney. And then Rose's Musk from Montal is very, very, very floral. And obviously, like the name suggests, musky, floral. But these are hers, so I keep them there. Best friend goals. And then next to it, I have my newest fragrance. This is YS. Cell Libre. So I've been talking about this on Instagram and I really like this. It's very, very, very masculine compared to all of my other scents. It literally smells like a men's cologne or a women's cologne had a baby. More on the masculine side though. This is definitely for the bold. This is definitely for those who like that like unisex, badass like scent. I really like this for fall, for winter. And then here we have Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I've actually used quite a lot of this. I didn't think I did, but apparently I did. And this is a very, very very soft scent. Definitely more on the powdery side, more of a soft scent. I really like that this smells clean. It reminds me of my aunt. I've said that before, but it reminds me of my Colombian aunt because I feel like she smells just like that. And then next to it, I have this one. This is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I actually find myself reaching for this one a lot. I don't know if it's the bottle that just like intrigues me and catches my eye, but I feel like it just smells like a classic department store floral. I'm very picky about my florals. I don't like for it to be too rose on me. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't really get away with it. It bothers my senses, but this is a floral that I can actually wear that doesn't bother me. Next to it is um, one of my newest babies besides the YSL. This is my latest purchase because the YSL I was sent. So this I actually purchased because one of you recommended it to me. Parfums de Marley and it's Delina or Delina. This is the regular one. It's not the um, exclusive one or whatever. Like there's two of them. This is just the original normal one. It's such a pretty bottle, but the lights are blowing it out. It's a really Really pretty blush pink. A lot of people got this because of Amrezi and because of I Love Sarai, but OMG, this is like the only rose scent that I will take. This smells like girly girl. It reminds me of a garden. It lasts so long on the skin and everybody will compliment you. I sprayed this in front of Angie and she's very picky about her perfumes. Like she does not like steer away from these two and she's obsessed with this and wants to buy it. Like that's how real this one is. If you're buying a department store, just smell it because I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. Next is my only Byredo fragrance. This is Gypsy Water. I don't regret buying this, but it's really not my style. 
This to me is also really unisex. It reminds me of like a bookstore in Brooklyn. I don't know why, but it's a little boring for me. I don't know, it's like a little too prude. It's like a stuck up scent. I just keep it there though. I do spray it again like in my room. I like that kind of like as a room scent. And then next to it, a classic hello, <laughs> Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb. I mean, there's a whole song made about this perfume for a reason. It smells so girly. It's a classic, classic girly floral scent. Apparently I loved it. I went through the whole thing. I do want to another one I wear this when I just don't know what to wear and I'm like I just want to grab something I typically just like mix all my perfumes these are all very girly either floral or clean that's typically what I go for and a little bit of musky I don't like citrus so that's the theme here pretty much all of them are musky floral or clean those are my categories so this is definitely in the floral category and then next to flower bomb I have two Chanel perfumes so we have chance tender and then we have chance vive vive oh vive I mean, I'm pronouncing those all terribly, so. The tender one is what I thought I liked because I smelled my aunt wearing a Chance Chanel perfume and I thought it was this one. This is the light pink and I'm not really crazy about this. I mean, I have used it. This is like the parfum version. They came out with like a parfum because most of them are toilettes or actually they were all toilettes. This just smells too generic for me, but I keep it there. I mean, it's Chanel. It smells good. It's just not anything like outstanding. This is the one that she wears and that I wanted to originally buy. So I got the bigger bottle and and again, it's the Vive one, the Vive, Vive, I can't pronounce that. So this has like the peachy kind of tint to it. And this one definitely is more up my alley. This smells more like that musky, unisex, like sexy scent. Where this one, Tender, is just like, meh. Like too classic, too generic. Where this one's more of like that sweet and sexy scent, which is more my style. And then next to it, we have this one. This one, I don't even think they sell anymore. So this was a limited edition version of C. I do want to get C, like the classic again. Because it reminds me of like Lancome and YSL. Like I feel like I have to have them in my collection. This one has a very alcoholic scent to it at first, which I don't really like, and it smells like a lychee martini. I used to wear this all the time, and it still reminds me of a lychee martini, so it's up here. Actually, I do have C, but it's still not the original. This is the C Passion, and this I'm actually on my last sprays of. This to me smells like shampoo. It smells like a fresh, clean shower, and then next to it, this is one of my like favorite go-tos. If you haven't heard me talk about this, then I truly don't know where you've been. This is Versace Dylan Blue. I can wear this every single day and be happy. This is my daily scent that's not like a super expensive one. I get so many compliments on this. I swear every time I go out, everyone loves this. All ages, men, women, like this is a classic, classic scent. I will never get over it. It's so clean and so fresh and I am obsessed. So this little cutie is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. They have a couple of different Miss Dior's. This one was my favorite. It's a little bit more floral. I obviously have used a lot of it. This is one of those that I could just blindly wear and I know it'll smell good, girly. This and like the Chance ones, the Chanel ones are just kind of like every day, like the Gucci, Miss Dior, the Chanel, you really can't go wrong. And then last but not least, this is also my go-to fragrance. This is my number one love. I feel like this is the first perfume, there we go, that I fell in love with like this hard. This is Mason Francis Kirkajan, Kirkajan. I always say Mason Francis Baccarat or I just call it Baccarat. This has to be top top complimented scents on me and it mixes so well with the skin honestly it just smells so rich and so sexy like when you wear this you feel so bad and bougie like nobody could tell you nothing so i keep it here at the front so these are my most used now let's go ahead and move on to the other tray so back here i just keep like body splashes i'm not really a body splash kind of girl but this is victoria's secret bombshell fragrance mist and i wear this mainly like to the gym if i'm just gonna run down and do laundry if you want to smell like the Victoria's Secret store, then there you go. I also like just spraying this like in the air and in just on random things. And then next to it, I have this little guy. This is Fresh Rose Morning. This reminds me of a candy. I don't know what candy it is, but it's definitely a rose, rose scent. This is the most rose I will get. I use this one mainly like, again, in my room. These are kind of like, I know it sounds bad, but I use these in my room. I wear perfume to bed too, so if I want to feel like delicate like a rose, I'll wear Fresh Rose Morning. 
I also have this Mason Francis Baccarat lotion, which I was actually really disappointed in. It's just, I'm not even going to talk about it because it was pricey. It doesn't do me any justice like the perfume does, but I keep it because I spent a lot of money on it. And then here I have a perfume oil that one of my brides actually put me onto. It's from Panorama Potions, and this one's called Follow Me. This is intense. I fell in love with it when she was wearing it for her wedding. And this will last on your skin like through a workout, through anything. Like this is potent. It kind of smells like Lancome La Vie Belle. It just smells like candy, like very, very sweet. I keep it there. It's really my only perfume oil. This one I actually got a lot of comments on. This is Gucci Rush. So the story about this one is this was my first designer fragrance gifted to me by my dad. That's why I repurchased it just for like memory's sake. It does smell very unisex spicy, very different. This is a very unique scent. I don't know. I really can't pull it off anymore, but I got a ton of comments on this one that your mom loves it or that you love it. So Gucci Rush, it's harder to find, but they do have it on Sephora. This one I got because of my best friend, Katrina. So she used to work at Hermes and she put me onto this. This is Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. This definitely reminds me of the summertime. It's like the only like citrus kind of scent that I have, but it's like a garden citrus. It's really, really, really nice. It kind of reminds me of my mom too it's like fresh clean and a little citrusy but Hermes makes amazing fragrances this also lasts really long on the skin this reminds me of like a trip like a vacation or just again like a very summer summer scent I wouldn't wear this in the fall or winter this I have to get rid of because it's probably expired Versace Eros it's nice don't get me wrong it does smell like I guess like bougie and sweet I just prefer Versace Dylan Blue over this because I prefer like cleaner scents this one's more of like that sweet scent and then next to it everyone I feel like and their mom got this because of Jaclyn Hill. Mine is dusty as hell. This is Bulgari Omnia Crystal, I think it's called. I've had it for a really long time. Probably time to get rid of it. But this is just like a classic clean scent. I'm not really a, a fan anymore of it. I think mine is just expired. I don't know. I really have to go through this one again but I have like problems getting rid of my perfumes. <laughs> this one I get so many comments on whenever someone sees it. This is Moschino Fresh and this is like the original one and I really wish you could spray it but you can't. It opens up regularly and I don't really wear this. One because I want to keep the blue liquid inside of it because it looks cool. It looks like Windex. And two because it's not really my style. I really gotta get the bottle. That's really bad but this is actually a gift. And yeah I mean it's fresh if you like fresh scents. There you go. They do have a gold one and a black one and a pink one. Haven't smelled those but there we are. This is Atelier, Atelier, Santal, Carmen and this smells very very soft. I saved this for fall and winter because it has like this very edible scent to it. I remember reading a review on this and I'll forever ever like every time I see this it reminds me of that review. Someone said it's like catnip for your nose and I every time I like think of the scent I think of cats. I know that's weird but I just don't know why. It's like I think of like cats and yarn. It's very soft um sensual and alluring I would say. Here we have the two KKW perfumes. I have a whole review on these. I don't wear these as often as as I thought I was like I loved them when I first got them I think because I was just like so excited and all of that but Angie's obsessed with this one every time she's here she sprays this it's like a masculine and feminine scent put together and then KKW body I think this is too this is a very beachy 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 scent if you are a cancer I feel like cancers love beachy scents and you would like this it smells like sunscreen and the beach here we just have Zara joyful tubros honestly I don't wear this at all I spray it in my apartment as air freshener so there's that here we have George Armani Aqua de Gio and I got this because of Katie Luster Lux. I'm literally spraying myself with all of these. I forgot how clean this was. This smells like soap, which I do like though. I'm not mad at it. I do like it and clearly I've almost gone through the whole bottle. Over here we have Tory Burch. I didn't think I would like a Tory Burch scent, but I actually fell in love with this because someone behind me in a store was wearing it or in front of me, whatever. And I asked her what she was wearing and it was this one. She pulled it out of her bag. She was like, let me put you on. And she definitely did put me on. I ended up buying it and almost using the whole thing. A very classic scent, bougie apartment store fragrance. This is Ed Hardy. This is like one of my first perfumes ever. I don't even know if it has a name. It just says Ed Hardy perfume. Like I, it doesn't have a name, but a lot of you guys also messaged me about this saying that it was like your favorite that like nobody knows about this this smells just like candy I actually really enjoy this I wear it quite often sometimes I'm just in the mood for something really sweet and I'll mix something else with a little bit of this in front of this super sweet scent we have the opposite this is Carolina Herrera good girl infamous for the bottle design it sprays out like that 
I don't know how a perfume could be this sexy, but it is. It makes me sneeze a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little spicy. I don't know, when I'm feeling a little more sexy, a little more spicy, more of a fall scent for me. This is actually a body splash, this is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush. If you like the scent of their Bum Bum Cream, this is pretty much that in a perfume. And I like wearing this, again, to the gym, when I'm running around, I don't want to spray anything too expensive. Or I actually wear this to sleep too, because it's very comforting and soft. It smells like a Brazilian beach. It smells so good. And then in front of it, I have two hair perfumes. This is Black Opium Hair Perfume. It smells just like Black Opium, but for your hair. <laughs> this is literally everything and more. R Co. Serious Gaze Fragrance Spray. I wear this as a perfume. It has juniper berries, blood orange, leather accord, violet, and dark woods, but I don't know. That mixture does something for me. You need this in your life. It is awesome. And then in the front here, this is like my favorite scent to spray in the house. This is Ralph Lauren Love. I do wear it also, but I do love it just like in the air, but this is very fruity and I just like it in the air. It just smells girly. It makes my apartment smell nice. I also love this one in my room and just like in my apartment because it lasts so long. This is Mancera Pearl. I actually really love the bottle and the fact that it's like a twist off. This is also spicy and like, I wouldn't say woodsy, but definitely like a spicy scent like a spicy feminine scent this in my apartment it just lasts really long it makes the whole apartment smell like this and literally the whole day it would just smell like this perfume and i love that like other perfumes i'll spray in the air but they don't last like this one does here we have gucci too if you own this probably got this because of kathleen lights this reminds me of my cousin susie because she smells like this like naturally, I don't know what it is, but it smells like it reminds me of our childhood. It smells like bebe. Like, I don't know. It just smells very, just smells like memories for me. I don't know why, but I got that because of Kathleen Lights. And then last but not least here in the front, I have this one. This is Bulgari Eau de Blanc. And I don't really wear this as much anymore either. This smells very powder fresh. I spray this in the air. It's a comforting, nice scent. And this I literally kept because of the bottle. Chanel Coco Madam as well. I do not wear this anymore. It just makes me sneeze. And I don't really like it, not really a fan, but I swear I kept it because of the bottle, which is crazy. I actually sprayed this in my closet the other day, and I was like, mm, that's why I don't like it. So now let's go ahead and move on to my favorites. So I'm giving you my top five, and I have one runner up, of course. Typical Rosita fashion. If I had to give away all my perfumes and only keep one, this is the one that I would keep. This is Mason Francis. Carcajan Baccarat. I picked this one as my number one because this is my first love. I feel like this is what got me into designer fragrances and more of like that niche fragrance world and it will forever ever be special to me. Every time I wear this, it just reminds me of so many good times and it never fails. I get complimented on this left and right. I personally feel like you can wear this year round. In the summer, this just intensifies with like your natural oils and like even with your sweat. I know that sounds gross, but this is a very like oily perfume and it lasts so long on the skin i'm not kidding i've said this before i've sprayed this like in the air a little bit has landed on my dog coco and he'll smell like it for days it definitely lasts forever if anything it just gets better it just gets like stronger with your skin you have to smell this again very expensive but honestly you don't need as many perfumes as i have so if i could just like cut down and wear my favorites i would totally just invest in these over and over again because i get so much use out of this and literally it will not expire like i'll use this before it expires so this is my third bottle of it for a reason. I love it. So Mason Francis Baccarat. I'm literally going to have a pool of perfume on my chest because I was spraying the whole collection pretty much so I can kind of get like a reminder of the scent. I have a lot of perfume on. Next up, we have Creed Silver Mountain Water. This is also my baby. Like these two are probably in the top one, like right next to each other. Like This is right behind Baccarat. Silver Mountain Water is just so clean and fresh. So Baccarat is definitely more sexy, sensual seductive and whoa I just got it too into it and then create silver mountain water is definitely more okay I smell amazing I smell clean I smell fresh I remember exactly when I purchased my first bottle I remember I went out that night and I wore it and I just felt so badass and powerful because it's expensive and I had saved up to buy this literally but I recently bought the bigger bottle because I went through my first one and I have no regrets I'm obsessed I actually got put onto this by someone on Instagram this really pretty girl on Instagram I think she deactivated it her Instagram but remember she posted it with like no caption no anything but I was so intrigued to know what she smelled like because she like, always looked really put together her makeup was always really nice her hair so I went to the store smelled it and the next week I was like no I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna buy it so I bought it and I love it so whoever she is thank you because you put me on to one of my favorite perfumes ever and honestly I've smelled other Creed fragrances and I'm not as obsessed as I am with those as I am with this one so 
love 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 this next one I wear pretty much every single day and I get so many compliments on this I feel like you guys are probably sick of me talking about this this is Versace Dylan blue I'm surprised I'm still on my first bottle I don't know what sorcery this is my cap is falling apart but the perfume is what counts this smells like a fresh shower. You know how sometimes you get out the shower and you're like, can people smell my hair? Can people smell the soap on my body? This is what that smells like. This is a combination of all those clean scents in one. I've put so many people onto this scent. Like Versace cut me the check because everyone loves it. Literally all ages. I'll walk into a store and people are like, wow, you smell so good. Or like at the club, people tell me I smell good. And let's say I'm wearing Baccarat. I'll wear this when I'm out because it's what I use to like, you know, spray throughout the night. So I feel like this is really what gets the most compliments. Low key. And then this one, it made it to my top five real quick. So this is Delina or Delina from Parfums. De Marley and I love the bottle like oh it just looks so pretty kind of looks like something your grandma would have but just I don't know I love the little tassel I got this on Nordstrom and no regrets I got a DM from one of you guys I'm so bad with like remembering like usernames or names but I got a DM from one of you guys saying that you two loved fragrances that I loved and that you smelled someone I think it was at Mac or at Sephora and you smelled someone that smelled really good and you asked them what it was and it was this and you recommended it to me I went out and got it like that same week I think or the next week because I was like alright that's pricey but I trust you guys I really do trust you guys when you guys talk to me in DM or in the comments I do not take it lightly I bought this because of you girl and then literally right after I saw Amrezi post about it and then I was watching I Love Sarai and she posted about it I was like wait okay I can't wait to get my order because clearly all the baddies know about this perfume and it's for a reason it literally smells like heaven in a bottle it smells very girly so baccarat sexy creed fresh versace also clean and fresh this one floral sweet but more on the floral side this reminds me of me laying down in a garden of white and pink roses this is floral done all the way right it's not overly powdery it's not overly like rosy because i don't really like too much of a rose scent it's just like the perfect combination of all the girly scents in the world and i love it if you could treat your Yourself, I say go for it and if not definitely just at least give it a whiff give it a smell the next time you're at a department store and then my last one for my top five Balenciaga Flora Botanica it was hard to choose between this one and my runner-up just because I wear them a lot on a daily basis this I love that I have the big bottle because I am generous with this I'm like oh I have the big one and I just go off on myself this is the perfect fall winter scent so this scent is also very nostalgic for me it just brings me so many good vibes great energy and this really just smells like sex in the city like it smells like New York Fashion Week I wear this all year but again more of a fall winter scent because it is definitely more spicy more sexy I'll have the notes of my top five down in the description bar I'm not gonna have all of them because that would be overkill but I'll have the notes in case you're into notes I'm really not into notes to me something's again clean fresh woodsy floral citrusy that's about it this one is definitely more on the sexy musky spicy realm but my runner-up I had to mention Mac Candy Yum Yum only because it's like this is my third bottle like I clearly love this stuff and when I'm just running around everyday errands which I feel like every day I do run errands I wear perfume pretty much to go down the block I just feel like perfume is very personal it makes me feel good I don't even care if other people like it I wear perfume like I said to bed the next time you're at Mac do me that favor and smell this I also love Turquatic by Mac that is a very very nice summer scent but this is just a good everyday classic girly scent for all seasons for all reasons Okay, it's musky, girly, sexy, classic. And it's from a makeup company, but then again, I don't judge. Like, if it smells good, it smells good. I don't care if it's $10 or if it's $1,000. I just know what I like, and this is what I like. So, MAC Candy Yum Yum Bomb. I love it. And just to mention it one more time, r Co. Serious Gaze hair perfume I want this in a perfume R and Co please make this exact scent in a perfume I would so appreciate that I am so addicted to this scent when I smell it it's like comforting for me and some of you have purchased this because of me and you guys tag me on Instagram and say like wow this stuff is amazing and I'm so happy when you guys trust me like I'm telling you trust me order this I believe you can only get it on Amazon but worth every single penny and I've had this bottle for so so long I'm never gonna run out of it I swear I keep saying I need a backup of it I need a backup just in case they ever want to discontinue this or it's hard to find but I don't think I'm ever gonna go through this bottle 
because it just lasts so long. My hair just smells so good. Especially having long hair, I feel like it's harder for it to smell really fresh. And it's straight. I don't know what it is, but curly hair just smells so good because of the products that curly hair girls get to use. I feel like the shampoo scent goes away for me because I flat iron my hair sometimes. So I always go in with this before going out. And it does me no wrong when people smell me or like go in for a hug. They're like, oh my god, like what are you wearing? Like that smells amazing. And I feel like it's a combination of this plus whatever perfume I'm wearing. So those were all of my favorites. Now to enter to win this perfume, obviously be subscribed. And yes, you do have to have an account. So go ahead and make one real quick. Make an account if you don't have one. Subscribe to my channel. And all you have to do is like this video and then just leave me a comment on what your favorite perfume is or a memory that you have with a scent or what perfume you wanna buy. Like literally any comment that you wanna leave in regards to a perfume. But I would really, really appreciate it if you left me a recommendation, especially if it's not in my collection, which I know is kinda hard because I do have quite a lot of perfumes, but just leave me a comment in regards to perfume. What's your favorite or a memory that you have with a perfume or, you know, what's your most complimented perfume? Just leave me a comment about perfume and I will update the description bar in one week from when this video is posted. So come back to this video in one week and I will have the winner in the description bar and I'll also leave it in a comment and pin it. So many of you were excited when I posted that I was going to be giving it away. I honestly want to give one away to each and every one of you, but Unfortunately, I can't. So don't forget to enter. Also, follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Rosita. I post way more on Instagram than I do here on YouTube, especially on my story. I'm always on there. So come chat with me. Let's be friends. I'm always answering my DMs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Next over here, we have Tori Birch. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Why do I get emotional about perfume? I have issues. Over here we have this guy. This is, it's always gonna happen. Already. But I still love, 